weld these spans down to the columns. And the weld sizes on these vary. So that's like a rubber uh, isolator, they call it Baron. Um, and these weld sizes vary anywhere from 6 mil to 21 mil, uh, depending on where it is in the, the track, I guess. So these welds here are uh, 16 mil. Like this green on what is kind of epoxy or some kind of crap coating it's just crap and it's hard to grind off so you got to go in there ahead of time you got to grind that coating off before you weld but when you burn in here you're still kind of burn into that coating so that first pass is just crap <laughs> so use the use a 532 718 here so you can't really just, you kind of got to whip it, whip it in, and just get the first pass in. And that's this leg here. It's not too bad. So yeah, it doesn't come out too bad once you chip it off. And then 16 mil weld. There's one there. It's probably about, uh, oh, hour. 15 minutes or so to bang this one out. The inside ones take a bit longer because it's just hard. You gotta crawl right up inside there. It sucks. Some are better than the others, but uh, the ambient air temperature needs to be 10 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. So that's good because they gotta hoard us in and then have these heaters. <laughs> so it's not a bad gig for the winter because you're never out in the cold. A heater ran out of gas last night, so it was only 10 30 this morning by the time I was able to get to work. And there she is. So nowadays, for the time being, that's what I'm up to. Not the best, but not bad. The worst part is crawling inside there and grinding all that green crap. That sucks. <laughs> right on, guys. That first pass nothing too glamorous. Just gotta get something in there to uh, burn up that uh, first layer of that green epoxy crap. So now, so crawl in that hole, which is there. I'm laying on my back or side or whatever, half in, half out, and just burn rod after rod for half an hour, an hour and a half. I mean. Lay there for an hour and a half until the weld's done. Just buffer off. Woo! Next one, next one, next one, next one. So it'll be today and all of tomorrow here probably. Unless I get sent somewhere else. There's talk I might get sent somewhere else to do something else. <laughs> That's about that. Oh golly. Well thank goodness I ran out of rods. I've got to crawl down the ladder and uh, give me an excuse to take a break for a second. <laughs> Usually start at 7 in the morning. Yesterday was good. Showed up at the, the span I was at at 7. And uh, the heaters were on, everything was rocking, and I had a big day. Today, <laughs> showed up at 7. Had a little generator on the heater, out of gas, of course. And it was, uh, yeah, it was 10.30 by the time things were heated up. So I got my tools sat up and just kind of hung out until... 10:30, cause yesterday I was able to had time to come over and get all these pre-grinded, ready for today. And that's life. here <laughs> it's so awkward because you can lay on your back in here 
and then like get the first foot not too hard then it gets kind of awkward and cramped up you don't know to jump out and reach in or just go and then I just the first bunch of patches and laid in there and hogged them all in and then I started kind of do a foot to kind of reposition half in half out there and then jump out and finish the rest like they're kind of awkward but whatever that'll have to do uh, it's getting dark shit uh, I think I got, I'm gonna try to squeeze out one more weld today. Yeah, I guess I got no choice. So there's an isolation layer here. This is this is an isolation layer, and the bolts are isolated. There's a sleeve in the bolts, so power can't transfer from here to here. So we gotta take a micrometer, and not micrometer, but uh, multimeter and test out of there to make sure there's no current flowing through these after they're done. So, I noticed the one I did a while ago, I burnt up tape. I put a few layers of this tape on, and that's just to protect the uh, isolation barrier from getting burnt, but it's pretty tough stuff. This one here, it's in underneath, so it's fine. So that's, that's what that burnt up tape stuff was. I shot one out an hour and a half, or an hour actually. Just going like crazy. So I'll put a first pass in another one somewhere and that'll be the day. So this one took three hours just because it was awkward uh, location. This one was about an hour and 15 minutes or so. And then the other one will smash it out in an hour. So the inside one's taking me three hours. That's three insides, one, two, three, four, six, 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 nine hours. It's pretty much a day just doing insides and there's two outsides. So. No, I probably won't get these done tomorrow. Oh well. What? Well, my best. I would have had heat first thing in the morning. I would have been done tomorrow. But, but I gotta call the big man there and maybe I'll be going somewhere else in the, in the morning. I don't know. That's enough. Gotta pass in. Burn another rod today, I think my arm's gonna fall off. <laughs> Not easy laying up underneath or crouching down underneath. Like my head height is on here, I gotta duck down. Like duck down like this and weld, so turn on the fella. <laughs> so I am gonna to have to haul butt on this. Today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, so I figure I got 11 hours of solid welding. So if they get this heater, to get the heater going all night, and I come in tomorrow and I can just go straight to work, uh, I'll get, I should have get a pretty good amount done. It should only be about two hours of work left. I didn't finish saying uh, what I was going to say because my phone died. So today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, and then it's Remembrance Day, long weekend, so Monday's off, so back to work Tuesday. And the big company that we're working for booked weld inspections for, for Tuesday, and I got like work 10 hour days, it's basically at least 11 hours of solid welding to do. So my boss is like, crap, they jumped the gun and just booked these inspections. And if it would have got, got a heater first thing this morning, I would have been having troubles all week with uh, not getting, not being able to get things up to temperature because it was cold and stuff. But it's, the 10 degree thing is their, it's their rule and they're enforcing it. So it's because of that. And they're the ones supplying the heat and the hoarding. So it's because of them that we're not, you know, might not be ready, but they booked it. So tomorrow I'm just gonna to have to work as hard as I possibly can and just weld, weld until the day's done. It's hard laying there because you gotta hold your head up and you're welding overhead. So like you're saying like, yeah, it's gotta go straight and work through, but you gotta stop and rest your neck and relax once in a while. Like it's pretty physically demanding just to go 
all day working over your head like that. But so I try my best, and then there's one other. There's one other pier to inspect first in the morning, so I don't know what time the inspector starts in the morning. So they're going to get the inspector to go to that pier, inspect that on Tuesday morning while I'm just going to be up there hauling butt trying to get those wells done. So, oh well, better than having nothing to do. Right, Angus? That's my bro, Angus. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. I guess I'm going to have to put up a part two, eh? Tuesday. Let you know how I made out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And new subscribers. Thank you, new subscribers. Awesome. That's really cool. It's good to see. Thank you, all you guys. Okay, catch you on the next one.